Okay. Hey guys, John Fitzen here. Hey, this is my the wildest knife I I do, and this is the Iron Mistress with the more Bowie handle. That's my version of Jim Bowie's knife, but John John Fitzen Bowie. <laughs> John Bowie. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. That, that, yeah, John Bowie. <laughs> but anyway, what this is, okay, all the silver you see in here, and you've seen some of my other one, all the silver is the meteorite. All the uh, black is the high carbon, okay? This knife, this, the meteorite comes from Diablo Canyon, okay? And then it has white brass fittings, uh, then it has a real wrought iron guard, okay, and that's uh, actually from the oldest department store in the United States. Uh, this is actually the old ZCMI Center in Salt Lake. Um, it has a Coco Bolo handle. This is already sold. This is going to my buddy Nate. Okay, uh, Nate, he's bought some real high-end stuff. He actually has this tattooed on his arm. No way. Yeah, you can see it. It's pretty cool. He has it down in there going into the skin. So, very pricey. This knife's around five grand. Uh, this is, I think, like, God, I can't remember, like the sixth, maybe eighth one I've, I've ever done. Wow. Uh, but all these were Jim Bowie's. These are copies off his uh, original knife that I got from a, a friend. And then my little plate right here. But it is. It's cool. And it moves really, really nice. Yeah, and fast. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is just a piece of work. But I'll, I'll tell you how long the blade is on this. You'll see here. It's a little over, it's about 11 and a half, okay? And the overall length is 18 and a half. You know I like long handles. It is about two and a half inches wide. You guys can see that. Uh, but it, it's just a beautiful knife. And it's funny, guys have been coming into the shop and picking it up and they, you know, I tell them what it is. I says, you know, can be from another planet, you know, billions and billions of miles away, you know, could have an alien in it. <laughs> Absolutely. But Who it knows? just, it takes a lot of time to do it. It's just beautiful. Uh, the other thing is too, uh, I'm doing this on certain knives. There's this little piece of wood right here. Okay, it's a blood mark. So when you buy this knife, the old thing is they used to cut themselves and they'd put a drop of their blood on there, okay? And what that was for is if the knife is ever lost, it's supposed to come back to you. It's kind of a neat little thing way back. And so I got a little blood mark there. Or if you stab somebody, don't leave it because you have your DNA on it. They'll come get your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is one hell of a knife it's quarter inch it's just absolutely stunning and it has a soul to it i wish i was keeping it but nate this is yours it's going to be shipped out to you he's having something different he's having a kydex sheath with elephant hide over it with a skull frog on it so i'm going to be doing that tomorrow and uh it's just uh just a beautiful, beautiful knife. So anyway, so that's that. And uh, if you want one of these, if you can get the meteorite, it'll be cheaper. You know, if I have to supply the meteorite, I have to find it and all that other stuff. But Diablo Canyon, a little bit of heaven, a little bit of hell. Diablo's the devil. Then it has the meteorite in it, wrought iron guard, coca bolo. I like to put ironwood on it because iron mistress. Sure. You know, so it's a hybrid iron mistress. So anyway, keep your edges sharp, your powder dry. Give me a call, 
3725 if there's any knife you want. So, and yes, I'm wearing pants today. I know you guys are going to be telling me. <laughs> no, but sometimes I do have to wear pants. So, see ya.